Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I am at, uh, I'm in Shelburne, Vermont today, and this is the village cemetery in front of us. But to the left is St. Catherine's, and I'm going to go into St. Catherine's first. So these gates, though, this one on the right, in memory of the Andrews and Nelson families. And the one on the left, gift of Freeman and Mira Andrews Smith. I love the uh, gates and the fence. Don't know about you, but I like that kind of look. And uh, so let's head over this side um, from out here. From the, you don't want to park here. You have to park here only with permission. So you want to park over there or uh, there's some parking in front of these buildings here as well. You could, of course, park in the cemetery itself, which is where I am parked. All right, so St. Catherine's uh, Cemetery. It says that uh, it is separated from the village cemetery uh, by trees, a uh, uh, line of trees. A line of trees here, and there's a line of trees over there. So I am inclined to believe since I didn't see anything else like this in the cemetery, that uh, this is St. Catherine's Cemetery. So the weather is not cooperating, so I'm going to try to uh, be a little speedier than usual. Now, uh, since this was a spur-of-the-moment uh, stroll of this cemetery, uh, well, both cemeteries, I don't really have much information. I had no information on this one at all. In fact, I didn't even know there was this other uh, this other cemetery. So, um, so there you have it. It's tough when the uh, trees are dropping their needles. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. I've been, uh, this is my third or fourth video today, and my voice is, uh, going. So I'll be uh, clearing my throat a lot as I go along. Let's see, what does this say? Well, nothing I can read. I don't think there was I'm not sure there's anything on there, although it looks like looks like it should have something because see these uh, see these um, these screws. This there's something that could be put in here. Let's see if I can get in there close enough for you. Looks like you should be able to put something. Um, inside one, two, three, four, five, six, and maybe I can show it better down here. Mm. Don't know if that's helping or not. Well, it looks like a, a a plate where you can put a sign. So maybe it did have something at one time, and it's long gone. That's my best guess. Look at this interesting one right here, this monument. Wow. Does it say anything on the back? Heck no. But it's certainly uh, interesting. Because this is stone. This is not wood. Um, it does look like concrete, though. With these uh, rocks embedded in it. Really, uh, really intriguing. It is on a lean forward and tipping to the side as well.
Company so someone Lasser Company A Second Regiment Vermont Infantry died February 23, 1924. Oh, the sky is getting dark. Ground is uneven. So if you come here, be mindful of that. Now this uh, cemetery is um, is open in the winter time, but it's closed for uh, parts of the winter. My guess is because uh, we have snowstorms here in Vermont. That'd be my guess. A child who was 12 or 13 when she died. Frost heaves, don't care who you were at all. At all. Okay. Apparently, I'm not going to be walking the cemetery all that fast. <laughs> Well, there's an oversight. The death date is missing on the bushy um, monument. Hmm. Oops. Wow, I've been to the cemetery an hour already. Holy cow. Oh, and Alice, their child. And uh, how old was she when she died? Just under two. Oh my gosh. And it's starting to sprinkle again. And I suspect it's going to start to rain. But, uh, oh yeah, it's already... But uh, close friends tell me I'll not melt. Imagine that. Close friends tell me I'll not, I'll not melt. Oh well. They're right. I won't. <laughs> So when you see endowed on a marker, it means perpetual care. What I can say about perpetual care, don't pay extra for it. They're gonna cut the grass anyway, or not. <laughs> They're not gonna fix your headstone if and when it breaks or falls over or what have you. So really, just, just save your money. I wanna see a child's headstone coming up. But you see it too. Two months. Oh, two months. I'm 
sorry. Now there's a French name, Bon Vouloir. Wow. Rain is coming down harder now. I can actually hit it, hear it striking things. 1940 to 1942. And a child certainly with her uh, evening prayers. This is the second time I've seen Napoleon in this cemetery. Wow. How cool is that? I, a name I had not seen before on a headstone in Vermont and uh, twice in, in the same cemetery. That's, uh, well, this is St. Catharines. I saw it over uh, there in the uh, uh, village cemetery section. Wow, died 2021. Now I don't know if this cemetery is still accepting burials or not. I mean, this already existed, uh, so I, I don't know. But uh, a check of the website and uh, Rochelle Vernon would tell you definitively. Oh, odds are these are children. Is this the front or the back? Uh, father. So that's the front. Uh, father. Not children. Yay. Yay for not children. Well, let's take the uh, shorter walk all the way to the front. And uh, my goal, no matter the fact I'm getting rained on, but uh, regardless, my goal is to cover this entire cemetery because it's pretty small. The village cemetery is very large in comparison. I'm not sure how many acres, but it's quite large. And my slicker is at home. I did not think I would be out this long recording. I don't know if you can see those names, perhaps not. Bro. Kelly B R A U L T is pronounced Bro. Beautiful French name. things. These hoses? So they're capped off. What does that say? Hmm. They may be for bulbs actually. But if you know what these are for, I mean, this gives, this makes me think water, but, uh, but these talk about maximum temp. Maybe that's just for the tape they used. I don't know. But if you have any clue whatsoever, please share it with all of us.
Eau Claire. Huh. I was just reading today in a the Burlington Area History Group um, on Facebook. I'm a mem member of that group. It's really interesting material that people share. They were just talking about the Eau Claire family farm, which, uh, um, not these folks, maybe it's the parents, but um, um, the barn is, the f part of that barn, and one end of the barn is, is uh, not connected to the barn anymore. And the house, apparently the roof gave. Quickest way to ruin a house is not to have a roof on it. But uh, fascinating article. Uh, well, fascinating piece of, of um, research. I can't remember the person who wrote it. Uh, there are several people who write really interesting things uh, there. I highly recommend it if you're on Facebook and you're interested in the Burlington area history. That's Vermont, of course. Burlington, Vermont area history. Perpetual care. <laughs> All right. There's a Thompson Road. <laughs> I was wondering if, if uh, folks are in relation when I see uh, last names of streets in the area where I'm filming. Uh, note that there is a uh, no gate or fence along the road. So, although the cemetery is open from dawn to dusk, I suppose if one had a flashlight, one could. Oops. On even ground. Let's look at this. Isn't that lovely? Wow. Really, really lovely. Don't know if that really qualifies for funerary art, but it's lovely nonetheless. Look at the size of this stone. Holy cow. I'm trying to keep my camera pointed down. So although the lens I'm looking through has water on it, I'm hoping that your side does not. Lyle D. Bennett, U.S. Navy, World War II. March 3, 1927 to February 20, 1988. That Noonan last name rings a bell. I wonder why. Two days old. The car sort of gave it away, but then I saw this one first from 33 to 2019. But yeah, I'm guessing we well, not, not, wouldn't be Junior with a different middle initial. But wow. Love the flowers. By the way, if you come here, you're only allowed to cut flowers that are yours. You're not allowed to cut anyone else's. I thought that was an interesting, um, an interesting statement to make. Kind of like, doesn't it fall into no duh? I saw that one. 
Oh, let's see. And uh, let's go right to the funerary art up here, shall we? Because who doesn't love funerary art, right? If you'd like to look at funerary art, by the way, I have a video, multiple videos, on uh, Green Mount Cemetery in Montpelier. We might have a playlist on that. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous art there. Uh, statuary, insane. So if you like that kind of stuff, I'll, I'll put a link in the description below uh, for, uh, maybe i just put that playlist the playlist um, as a as a clickable link in the video itself so this is Julius S. Munnett, Manette, member of 33rd Company 9th Battalion Depot Brigade called to service August 29 1918 died at Camp Devons Massachusetts September 20 1918 age 22 years it's wrong on every level I can think of. Because I do wonder, and maybe you do too, about the type of life someone who died in, in war, presuming he died in, in war, but still, he was called to service. Uh, what kind of life he would have led had he been able to live longer? Had he been able to have children if he wanted them? Had he been gotten married had he, if he had wanted that. I don't know. I really just don't know. But this is gorgeous. This wreath that she's holding, the uh, attention in detail in her knuckles and uh, her feet. This t side as well. Uh, it's really, it's really, really beautiful. And if I can shield my camera at all, I kind of doubt it. But uh, yeah, look, look at the, the attention to the face. Beautiful, isn't it? It is gorgeous. Really just beautiful. And uh, let me pause. Doesn't appear to be any uh, water on the lens, uh, as opposed to the viewfinder I'm using. Okay. I am definitely getting rained all over. And... Uh, I did walk most of it, but I would encourage you to come here, pay your last respects, visit these folks. James Henry Driscoll, Private First Class, U.S. Army, World War II, May 21, 1914, and November 10, 2001. Maybe I already said him. Hard to remember. All right, so this was the St. Catherine Cemetery, which is adjacent to the Village Cemetery in Shelburne, Vermont. I really enjoyed showing you this cemetery today. Hope you enjoyed coming along for the uh, walk. And uh, this is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. And until we meet again, you have a great day. Bye.